Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you perhaps the easiest way that you can put together a video or even a channel trailer for your YouTube channel or any other social media platform using this amazing platform called InVideo, which I'm going to demo for you today. Now, one of the execs from the company contacted me on this channel and asked if I would do a review of the product. And it took me a while to get around to it, but I've had a look at it. I started to create a few videos based on the templates that are available. And I've got to say, it actually amazes me just how good this application is for those of you that want to put together a video in the easiest possible way. Now, the great thing about InVideo is that not only do you get templates to give you the ideas and help speed up your workflow, but it also includes downloads to a number of video and image assets that you can use within your videos. So essentially, depending on which plan you go on, you get access to hundreds, if not unlimited, video clip, audio track, and image downloads that you can use in your video. Now there's a free plan, but if you get the free plan, you're limited to a certain amount of downloads and you also get the NVIDIA watermark on your video. So if it's being used internally for corporate presentations, it doesn't matter. But if you are gonna use it for commercial purposes or even on your own YouTube channel, you really wanna remove that watermark. The plan started around $10 per month and we've been given an amazing 50% discount offer that you can access if you use the codes that I'll put in the description box below. So it's a really good offer from NVIDIA for those of you that wanna check this out. And if you like it, you can certainly go ahead and sign up for a free plan. And if you've created enough, enough videos to justify it, you can think about signing up for a six month or yearly plan at starting at $10 per month. So it does represent really good value. And after having played with it, I can say you're going to be able to create all sorts of videos with this application. So I put it to the test and I created a few videos using InVideo and I've got to say, it's an absolute pleasure to work with. The interface is really well thought out. It's very easy to use, but what really surprised me about it was the access you get to an amazing range of assets that you can use in your video, from video clips that come from Storyblocks and Shutterstock, to image assets, typography, and even unique audio tracks that you can use in your project, along with the ability to convert text into speech. So there's just so many tools available for the video marketer in InVideo that I think it's a great application worthy of recommending on this channel. As I said earlier, InVideo are providing all viewers of this channel with a 50% discount. So if you are interested, make sure that you use the discount code in the description box below during the signup process. But before you go ahead and check it out on their website, stick around. I've done some of the hard work for you, sifting through what I think are their best templates. We'll have a look at what they look like, how easy it is to edit them. And I'll also go through an example of creating a channel trailer for Touch Technology Review to see how quickly I can put that together based on one of their existing channel trailer themes. Let's get started. So to create your first video, all you need to do is go to the InVideo website, which is at invideo.io. Now I'll leave a link to it in the description box below so you can click straight to it, or you can see it on screen. The website address is invideo. Io, and you can navigate to it on any compatible browser. Sign up for a free account to begin with and have a browse through the available templates. There's three main tabs at the top. There's the pre-made templates, article to video, and blank templates section. And in each of these sections, you can create widescreen 16 by nine format videos for YouTube, vertical nine by 16, and square formats for Facebook and Instagram as well. So I'll just scroll through and have a look at some of the YouTube templates first. The modern tech intro was one that I highlighted as I was really impressed with the combination of the stock video footage, typography, and the flow of the animation. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the great things about InVideo is that you could use this to create channel intros or outros for your video edits. So to that end, I'm gonna test it out and create a new channel trailer section for Touch Technology Review. I found a template called Power On Intro, which I quite liked. So I'm going to choose the 16 by nine widescreen format option, which means that it will fit within my YouTube videos. I'll tap on that 
and the video template will start to load. The first thing you need to do is upload your logo. So you tap on the logo option in the middle of the screen and then select the logo from your computer. The next thing you do is simply resize it to suit the layout. So I'm just gonna grab the outer edge of the logo box and simply expand it to make it larger. Now we've got the right size. I can also change the website URL or put any other typography I like in that text box. So all you need to do there is tap in the text box and type in the appropriate wording. You can change the style and the color, but I'm quite happy with the existing format. And that's all you need to do to create this very simple video intro, which includes a really cool background animation, my logo and my YouTube URL. Now, obviously you can do so much more than just create intros and outros. So I'm just gonna quickly have a look at one more option. I'll get out of the technology space for just a moment and we'll look into some health and fitness options. There's quite a number of ways to find your templates and there's even a section called editors pick, which shows some really premium templates. So I'm gonna choose the yoga studio promo for my next one. And again, because I have YouTube in mind, I'm going to select the widescreen 16 by nine option. But if you wanted to make this for Instagram or Facebook or IGTV, you could certainly select the vertical option or the square format. But as I said, I'll be going with the wide 16 by nine option. I'll tap on use this template to get started. The videos will load up. And this time it's a more sophisticated edit containing more than just one video clip. So you'll see at the bottom there's a timeline and you can tap on each of those sections in the timeline to show you each of your scenes. So the template already includes some stock footage ideas along with typography and layout as well as a logo box on the top right hand corner of the screen. So the first thing I'm gonna do to customize this is replace the generic logo with my logo. So I'll tap on the logo element. I'll tap on the upload option in the bottom left hand corner. The logo has now been uploaded into the media assets folder and I can simply drag it across to replace the existing logo. I'll click on the next scene, replace the logo on that, the following one, and also in the final frame. And if you wanna get really creative, you can replace the suggested video clip with an alternative clip that you can find in the videos folder. As I mentioned earlier, there are thousands and thousands of videos available to you. To find what you're looking for, just type in a keyword. For example, if I wanted to replace the opening scene with somebody running as a fitness type of video, I could type in the word running into the videos box and I could either choose to add it as a layer on top of the existing video or replace the existing video background with the one that I've just chosen by tapping on the replace option. Now I could continue to add more video clips from the stock library into each scene and I can even create new scenes by tapping on the add scene button in between each scene or at the end of the timeline to extend the length of my video. You can tap on the play button underneath the preview window to have a look at your video progress. And once you're satisfied, tap on the export button on the top right hand corner to export your video. And you can export and download the video to your computer file, ready for use in any of your projects or to upload directly into your social media platforms. Thanks for watching. Once you've had a chance to check out in video, I'd love to hear your feedback. Do you think it's an effective way to put together a video for your channel or social media activities? Uh, I'd love to hear anything you have to say about the application, your experience with the interface, the type of videos you were able to create. Feel free to put those comments in the comments box below. If you wanna see more from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified as soon as new videos become available. See you on the next one. Bye for now.